G'day, Lawrence here, another day, another bomb. Um, the last one I did was true love. Um, and we've all had true love in our lives. Well, I would hope that we all have had true love in our lives. Um, I had found mine 20 years ago, actually. Um, 20 years ago this year. Wonderful, wonderful person by the name of Philip. Um, I won't give his full name out. Um, Philip was probably as perfect as anybody could probably be. Um, so, I mean, we all try to look at the perfect things in everybody that we fall in love with. And yeah, well, let's just say that everyone who knew him um, just liked him straight away. Uh, I'm not going to go into the whole story behind it because uh, if you go through and have a look at my YouTube channel, the first video I ever did was called Regret. Um, so you can probably see where this is going. Um, and I did the poem originally for then, but I wanted to do it again because today's the anniversary of the passing of Philip 13 years ago. So rather than go through the whole story, I'm just going to read the poem out. It's called Ode to Philip. From the first time I saw your profile online, I wanted to know you more over time. Your smile was so sweet, your eyes were so blue, with looks so handsome and a dancer to boot. I saw in you as you saw in me, a future together, but how it could be. You from a land so far away and me from down under, your night is my day. Every email I sent, you quickly replied, your words so lovely, they brought tears to my eyes. The affection was growing. You said, I love you. My heart swelling so large as I loved you too. Photos and phone calls were sent when we could. It was now time to meet. We both knew we should. Plans were made to visit each other, for we knew in our hearts there could be no other. Weeks turned to months and then to a year. Never to meet was what I now feared. Then came the note I knew I would dread. To only have friendship, it pretty much said. Much to my shame, I then shut you out. You'd done nothing wrong, I knew with no doubt. It was me having trouble I couldn't let go. But to write back to you, I had to say no. The years passed on by, you still in my thoughts. I emailed you back. Forgiveness, I sought. Nothing came back, not even a sound. Perhaps there's a partner I'd hoped you had found. I googled and searched all over the net, looking for you, still full of regret. Then there it was, in black and in white. A short-worded story found late in the night. Over and over I read while I cried, as it told me the story of how you had died. I can never forgive the way I behaved, but the memory of you in my heart, it is saved. There will come the day we will be together, for our love will continue forever and ever. If you found that one or you were married, living with, or anything with that one love, don't let go, don't don't push it away, embrace it. Tell them how much you do love them. Uh. Anyway, uh. I'll be back in a couple of days with another one, I hope. Um, I think I need something to cheer me up, something to do. I'm actually gonna write something, uh, something funny and bring it up next time. Um, just remember, smile, people appreciate it, always think of the good, not the bad, and no matter what happens in life, you'll always have memories. So until next time, I'll see you soon, take care, and stay safe, bye.